Hi there, kids. It's nice to see you again. By the way, do you know where I am right now? Uh huh. I am in the garden, and I'm going to go stargazing. Would you like to come with me? Wow, such an amazing star, isn't it? Oh, what was that? It's a shooting star. Shooting star looks so interesting, right? So, do you want to know more about it? Now, let's start and watch the next episodes of Science Eight video lesson. Have you watched a movie when rocks from outer space fall in the Earth? Do you know what these rocks are? Are you aware that falling stars are not really stars? For quarter two, module six, comets, meteors, and asteroid. Hi there, I am Teacher May, and this is Super Z, and we will be with you all throughout this space exploration. We hope you are comfortable while watching and learning this lesson. I guess you are now ready and excited for a fun learning experience as we will explore space through Module 6 of Quarter 2 in Science 8. Now let's go! Do you know that the outer space is not just about the Sun, the Earth, and the eight other planets? We also got a lot more in the space, like comets, meteors, and asteroids. Before we proceed to our discussion, let's have first this pretest. Please open your module in page 2. What I know. Let's read the directions. Choose the letter of the correct answer. Write your answers on a separate sheet of paper. Do you get that? Oh, hi there, kids. It's nice to see you again. By the way, do you know where I am right now? Uh-huh. I am in the garden, and I'm going to go stargazing. Would you like to come with me? Wow, such an amazing star, isn't it? Oh, what was that? It's a shooting star. Shooting star looks so interesting, right? So do you want to know more about it? Now let's start and watch the next episodes of Science 8 video lesson. Have you watched a movie when rocks from outer space fall in the Earth? Do you know what these rocks are? Are you aware that falling stars are not really stars? For quarter 2, module 6, comets, meteors, and asteroids. Hi there! I am Teacher May, and this is Super Z, and we will be with you all throughout this space exploration. We hope you are comfortable while watching and learning this lesson. I guess you are now ready and excited for a fun learning experience as we will explore space through Module 6 of Quarter 2 in Science 8. Now let's go! got a lot more in the space, like comets, meteors, and asteroids. Before we proceed to our discussion, let's have first this pretest. Please open your module in page 2. What I know. Let's read the directions. Choose the letter of the correct answer. Write your answers on a separate sheet of paper. Do you get that? Good. First question, what are commonly called shooting stars? The choices are A. Asteroids B. Comets C. Meteors D. Meteorites Okay, what is your answer? Yes, the answer is letter C. Meteors Second question what are found in the circular or somewhat like donut-shaped region between Mars and Jupiter? The choices are A. Asteroids 
B. Comets C. Meteors D. Okay, what is your answer? Very good. The answer is letter C. Asteroid Third question is Which near-Earth objects, NEO, are found on the Kuiper Belt and Oort Cloud? Choices are A. Asteroids B. Comets C. Meteors D. Meteorites What is your answer? Yes, the answer is letter B. Comets Did you get all the correct answers? Good job! This time, let us discover fan facts about comets, meteors, and asteroids as Super Z will bring us to the space. So please prepare your self-learning mojo and open it in page 6. What's new? With the advent of telescopes and space probes, these instruments provided more knowledge on the beginning of the universe. These objects are a lot more interesting. Now let's talk about comets. Comets typically come from the Oort cloud, which is beyond the solar system, and some from the Kuiper belt, which is beyond the Neptune's orbit. Long period comets originate from the Oort cloud, while short period comets originate from the Kuiper belt. Comets, meteors, and asteroids come in different sizes and compositions. Both the comet and asteroid orbit the Earth and move relatively slow when viewed from the Earth. This means that you can view a comet for up to a year in the night sky. Asteroids originate from the asteroid belt. These are found between Mars and Jupiter. The orbit of an asteroid is more rounded and less elliptical than the orbit of a comet. In February 2013, asteroid DA14 made a closer approach to Earth as it orbited around the Sun. It was estimated to be only 17,200 miles or 27,700 kilometers above the Earth at the time of its closest approach. In December 2012, during the issue of the Doomsday Prophecies, asteroid Totatis has made a near approach to Earth but not as close as asteroid DA14 on 2012. Another difference between asteroids and comets is their chemical compositions. Asteroids contain only dusts and metals, while comets contain ice and icy objects, including dusts, metals, and elements like sodium and argon. Unlike a comet, an asteroid is composed of rocky metals that are mostly iron and nickel. The dirty snowball made of ice is the nucleus of a comet. As the comet gets closer to the sun, the ice melts and evaporates together with dust particles. These particles of gases make a shining head around the comet called coma. Meteoroids are remnants or fragments of asteroids and comets located outside the Earth's atmosphere. When these remnants enter the Earth's atmosphere, it will then be called meteors. When these landed on the Earth's ground, it is then called meteorites. Thank you, Super Z. Alright everyone, are you ready to spot some near-Earth objects? Very good! So grab your pen and your papers and open your module on page 10, Activity 2. In this activity, you will identify what near-Earth objects are seen in each item? Choose your answer from the box. Write your answers on a separate sheet of paper. Have you already spotted the near-Earth objects? Excellent! Now let us find out if you got it right. What is the correct answer for number one? Correct! The answer is Meteor. 
How about number two? Yes, the right answer is asteroid. Very good. Comet is the correct answer for number three. Were you able to get the correct answers? Good job, students. Congratulations. Now let us proceed to another exciting activity. Are you ready with your pens and papers? That's great. Proceed now to activity 3 found on page 10. Identify what is being referred to in each item. Choose your answers from the box. Write your answers in a separate sheet of paper. Number 1. It is the origin of the comets that is beyond the solar system. Impressive! The answer is Earth cloud. Number 2. It is where the asteroid originated. Bravo! The right answer is asteroid belt. Number three, it is the origin of comets that is beyond the planet Neptune. You get it right, students. The correct answer is Kuiper belt. Num for number four, it is where meteors can be found. The correct answer is Earth atmosphere. For number five, Asteroids can be found in between these two planets. You are right, students. The answer is Mars and Jupiter. Are all your answers correct? Awesome! Now, are you ready for another activity? Let us now get to know more about Comet, Meteor, and Asteroid with our next activity. Fill in each blank by identifying what near-Earth objects are being composed of the following components. Write your answers on a separate sheet of paper. Ice plus metal plus dust equals blank. The answer is asteroid. Carbon dioxide plus ammonia plus argon equals blank. The answer is comet. Rock plus dust plus flame equals blank. The answer is meteors. Were you able to identify the components of the following near-Earth objects? That's impressive. Let us now proceed to another engaging activity. On your science module, work on the activity titled What I Have Learned on page 13. Fill in the blanks with the correct answer. Write your answers in the separate sheet of paper. Alright, for number one, blank typically come from the Oort cloud and some from the Kuiper belt. The answer is comets. Comets come from the Oort cloud and some from the Kuiper belt. For question number two, Asteroids originated from the blank, which is in between Mars and Jupiter. The answer is asteroid belt. Asteroids originated from the asteroid belt, which is in between Mars and Jupiter. For question number three, it is the streak of light that happens when the meteorite enters the Earth's atmosphere. The answer is meteors. Meteor is a streak of light that happens when a meteorite enters the Earth's atmosphere. Question number four. The blank, blank, and blank differ in orbits, orbital periods, origins, chemical compositions, and their importance to research. The answers are comets, meteors, and asteroids. Comets, meteors, and asteroids differ in orbits, orbital periods, origins, chemical compositions, and their importance to research. Next is question number five. The dirty snowball made of ice is the blank of a comet. The answer is nucleus. Nucleus is the dirty snowball made of ice is the nucleus of a comet. For question number six, 
the orbit of an asteroid is blank while the orbit of a comet is elongated? The correct answer is rounded. The orbit of an asteroid is rounded. For question number seven, blank are remnants of fragments of asteroids and comets located outside the Earth's atmosphere. The correct answer is meteorites. Meteorites are remnants or fragments of asteroids and comets. For question number eight, Blank is the most well-known short-period comet of the 20th century since it makes 75 to 79 years to orbit the Sun. The correct answer is Comet Halley. Comet Halley is the most well-known short-period comet of the 20th century. For question number 9, on February 2013, Blank made a closer approach to Earth as it orbited around the Sun. The correct answer is Asteroid 2012, DA-14. Asteroid 2012, DA-14, made a closer approach to Earth as it orbited around the Sun. For question number 10, Kuiper Belt is located beyond blank. The correct answer is Neptune. Kuiper Belt is located beyond Neptune. Way to go, students! You are impressive! For your assignment, work on Activity 5, Let Us Know Them More, found on page 12 of your learner's module. Fill in the Venn diagram by identifying the different components present in comets, meteors, and asteroids. Use a separate sheet of paper for your assignment. Congratulations for a job well done today. I had a wonderful time learning with you, and I hope you did too. This is Teacher May and Super Z, and I will see you again for another exciting learning experience in Science 8. Have fun learning and keep safe.